In our work in progress setup video, we showed you how to set up statuses and your work in progress views specific to your shop. Now let's look at a couple of examples and how you can track each of your jobs from beginning to end. Here are a couple of example views of templates we've already created. Our service writer needs to know about everything going on in our shop, so his view contains lots of status types. Compare this to our shop owner's view, and you can see this view gives our owner a great high-level snapshot of the status of all the jobs, but not too much detail. And lastly, our technician's view has a number of statuses, but only those that are relevant to the actual repair work on each car. Let's focus on our service rider view and see how his repair orders move through the phases in our shop and how easy it is to keep track of each repair order. Just for our example, we've got five ROs that are confirmed to arrive today. We've got two ROs that are waiting on parts and we've got one on ramp or in bay. So let's follow a couple of these repair orders. Now, Miss Rebecca Warren actually arrived this morning with her Acura. So let's move that from confirmed to our pending workshop status. And upon that initial change, we can assign a key tag number here. And this is completely optional, but let's keep track of her keys with a tag, and we can assign that same tag number to the RO here in our work in progress screen. Now the service writer notifies the tech that there is a vehicle ready to work on. So let's jump into the technician's view to see what he's got going on today. Now in his pending workshop status, he sees Miss Warren's Acura. He's going to pick that car up from the parking lot, drive it into a bay, and also move that job into the on-ramp status, which for him means it's in the bay ready for work. Now today, this vehicle just needs a simple oil change. So our trusty service rider is in his view, and he no longer sees Miss Warren's Acura in pending workshop. It's been automatically updated for him, and he now sees it in on-ramp. Now if we double-click on the job here, and go into the actual work document. We can see that the status has been changed automatically and you'll see the key tag information is also noted here on the work document. So back in our work in progress screen. That was a pretty quick oil change job. So our technician is going to move Miss Warren's Acura to the quality control status to make sure the work is checked, any inspections are completed and nothing was missed. After this phase, he'll move the vehicle into the work complete status. Now note again how the color has changed here on the job. Our trusty tech hands the keys back to the service rider and informs him of the completed work. The service rider's view now shows that Ms. Warren's Acura is in the work complete status. So, of course, our service rider goes into the RO from here, contacts the customer, completes the rest of the repair order through to invoice, and sends Ms. Warren home with an efficient oil change. Now the last step the service rider needs to perform after Ms. Warren has taken her vehicle is to come back to the work in progress screen, double click on the job within the work complete status and choose mark off site. And this will remove the job from the work in progress screen and close out the RO. Now for those shops that offer detailing services such as wash, wax and vacuuming, our work in progress screen can actually track that as a status and part of your entire shop workflow. So here's a quick example. We'll move Miss Nicole's vehicle to our pending workshop status. We'll give her a tag. And now when we open up her RO, we can see all of her details and we can also see that she's got a detailing option for her vehicle. And today we're gonna to give her a wash and vac. Also, if we go into the work document, we can see the wash and vac option noted here. Okay, so Miss Nicole's vehicle gets moved and the work is being performed and eventually it's completed. When we do move this vehicle into the work complete status, because it also has a wash and vac option, it will show in two statuses on our service rider's view. And also, our status has changed to green here to note that it's now in the work complete status. So of course our detail department has their own view and they see all vehicles that are marked as work complete and any that are ready for detail. They grab Miss Nicole's vehicle, run it through their detailing services, and when they're done, they'll hand the keys back to the service rider, who will then open up that job and mark the detailing as complete. That removes the job from the detailing status, 
and over in the work document, it also notes as complete here. Now just as before, we'll complete the rest of the repair order, invoice it out, and come back to mark Miss Nicole's vehicle as off-site, which will remove that vehicle from our work in progress screen. So that's a couple of pretty simple examples, but as you can see, Manage Online's work in progress screen can be customized to track repair orders through whatever workflows you have for your shop.